So it's the new year, which means it's best of time, time for people to put out their top 10 lists and such, and I'm sure we'll be doing something like that shortly. However, I saw the best movie of the year back in September. Cyrus and I saw it at a film festival, and we told Corey that we wanted to review it, and he said, ain't nobody going to be interested in that movie. Nobody heard of that. Well, sure enough, that movie is called There Will Be Blood, and let me assure you, it is the best movie of the year okay I'm doing this as a short little thing I want to review it later I hope all four of us get together in a room and talk it out because there's varied opinions but I think this is the best movie of the year if you live in a market that's showing it right now and you are watching this review then you are a movie lover and you need to go out and see this thing right now now this movie isn't for everybody uh, it's kind of slow in fact there's no dialogue for the first 15 minutes if that scares you off do not see this movie but if you are a movie lover and you love just beautiful, wonderful films with the single greatest performance that you won't just see this year, but in several years. Daniel Day-Lewis so blows everyone else out of the water with this performance. You are just mystified watching him for two hours and 20 minutes. And he is a douchebag. He is an evil mother f and that's what's so entrancing about him. If it were anybody but Daniel Day-Lewis, I don't know if they could have pulled it off. But this is such a performance to watch. It is such an intriguing movie with such a killer soundtrack. It is something that is unlike anything you have ever seen. And you owe it to yourself to go see it. So if it's out in your market right now, please, please, please go see this movie. You owe it to yourself as a film lover. I can't wait to talk to the guys about this.